G'day, I'm Daniel Watkins, and we're here for the Tiger My Weight Global Challenge. We've been accepting online video submissions all summer long to find out the best male wakeboarder. The Tiger Z3 is all loaded down. Let's go check out the action. Making his debut in the pro men's division, Mike Dowdy came out strong with his signature hillside off Axis 7, followed by a switch hillside Mute 360, and finishing it off with a Moby Dick 5, putting him in the lead after day one. I had the option this contest to ride junior pro or pro, and I just figured I've been riding good all season, and I would just uh, try out my skills in the pro men division, so I just decided to step up. Another strong start on day two. I'm going to call it an early handle pass back mope and then follows it right up with the toe side 900. Back in on the heels, look at that, the KGB. And grabbing mute on that switch heel side 360. He'll need a big technical trick to finish off this run. Moby Dick 540, oh, dropping the handle and it was right next to him. After a solid first day of riding, Rusty once again charged the weight, taking most of his tricks into the flats. Backside 5 of 40. Nice frontside 540 right there. Mew grabbed a backside 180. The heelside back mode from Rusty Malinowski. It's a huge back roll. Would normally take that to blind, but still just styling it out. You know, everything was going good and up until my last trick and I just had to back out of the roll the blind otherwise it wouldn't have went so well for me so I just backed out and just did the back roll which obviously hurt my score. After a more conservative day one, Tony laid it on the line adding stylish grabs to a technical run. In on the heels with the back mob. Back up and over crow mob, 540 right there. Back in still, fish grabbed the backside 180. Toe side 720, heel side edge up and over, heel side front side 540 from Tony Carroll. Phil Sovan, who's known for his consistency and arsenal of mobs, continued to perform in the way that we've come to expect from this contest veteran. Chrome mob 540. Toe back roll to blind. Back side 540 right there. Toe side, back side, 180, getting a melon grab on that. One last trick on the heel side right here. The Moby Dick, 540, as clean as you like. So here are the final results of the Pro Men's Wakeboard Competition. Phil Sovan, with the most consistent rides of the weekend, holds on for the win. He's down at the dock with Will now. Let's go check in. Thanks, Dan. Here I am now with Phil Sobin, the winner of the Pro Men's Wakeboard. Congratulations, Phil. I feel like this came as a bit of a surprise for you. You weren't really expecting it. But talk us through the run that you put down today. Uh, yeah, I definitely wasn't expecting to win this weekend just because, uh, you know, yesterday I had a little bit of uh, not the best run of the season for me. But, uh, you know, today I just kind of came out and put together a clean run and, you know, everything worked out in my favor. It's the end of the season, so everyone's a little tired, bodies are a little beaten up, so uh, just trying to go consistent and do what I can do and, uh, you know, put together. So it's cool. And you did put it together. Phil, congratulations. Great run today. Well done. Thanks.